Well, hi guys, this is N1CY, and uh, we're up here in Big Bear, um, Big Bear Lake. So we're just sitting in the parking lot here, and uh, we're at uh, quite a bit of elevation uh, right here. It's uh, 6,817 feet. I'm on the North Shore by Fonskin. Anyway, the purpose of this video is how to program this radio. This is the Wushan uh, KG UV8D and uh, a lot of you guys were saying that you know it's not it's kind of tedious to program and some of you are even having an issue with the programming cable or the programming software. Uh, anyway this is the radio this is the, the version 3 which is the latest version uh, I added this uh, high capacity uh, lithium battery. It's, I believe it's 2700 milliamp hour to it. But I'm going to show you how to program the radio and we're going to start with repeater frequencies. Now this radio is menu driven. So basically you're going to press that function button. You enter the menu and then you got to remember uh, you got to remember three things on the menu. Number four number 23, number 24, number 27, and number 16. Well, let me repeat. Number 4, number 16, number 23, and number 24, and number 27. If you write them down, uh, 4, 16, 23, 24, and 27. You write these down, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, program uh, frequency. What I'm going to program, I'm going to program the Big Bear repeater 147330. So uh, we'll go ahead and turn the radio on. Okay. Now I'm in the uh, A band in VFO right there. If you're not in VFO, you just hit the VFO button here and it takes you to VFO. Okay, so I'm going to program 147333. I'm sorry, 147330. So here we go. Just uh, use the keypad. Okay, so we got 147330. Okay, so I press function. Okay, and then I want to go to number four. So zero, four. TX power. Press function again. It's on high, as you can see. Press function again. Now I want it to be on low. Here we go. So now it's on low, right? That's your transmit power. You press function again to exit. Okay, now I want to go to number 16. So you press on the pad. One, six. That takes you to the transmit tone. Okay, you press function again. It's 127, but for Big Bear, it's 131.8. So here's 131.8. Okay, so now you got the transmit power setting. You get the transmit PL setting, uh, setting which is 131.8 for that frequency for that repeater. Press function again, okay? Now you want to go to number 23. So we go 2, 3, okay? And that's the offset. Offset meaning is it a positive shift? Is it a negative shift? Well, in that case, this repeater is a positive shift. And we get a minus sign here. So we want to go, you press uh, on the uh, orange button to enter. Okay, it's 600. That's the offset. That's cool. So it is 600 for VHF for two meters. You exit. Okay, you want to go to number 24. And that's the offset direction. Okay, so shift direction. Okay, so you press the orange button again to enter. It's a minus as you can see. And we want a plus, right? So we go to a plus here. Now it's off. If you want to operate simplex, you want it off. 
and here's a plus. So again, you got off for simplex minus negative, you know, minus 600 kilohertz for the offset. Okay, off simplex and plus is uh, it's a plus offset when you uh, transmit. Okay, so we got it in there. So here we go. You press function again to save it. Okay. Now you want to go to number 27, and you can, you're so close here at 24, so you, you go to number 27 here. Memory channel. Okay, now you want to save it in memory, right? Okay, here we go. So you press on the function again. Okay. Now it says channel 8. It will change the color when the channel is available. See, all these are occupied channels that I programmed in the radio. You see how it turned blue? Okay, here's 28 black that's occupied. Black is occupied. Okay, so you go to channel 27, 29. This is free. This is occupied. This is occupied. So again, I get this channel is free. Okay, because it's blue color, right? So you press to save it. And all you got to do is press back on the orange button. To save it right there okay so we saved it okay so now we got the the, the, the repeater programmed in memory and all I got to do is I'm going to exit there we go so 147330 plus offset we got the PL tone in there everything is programmed and now we're going to go to memory make sure it's in there channel 8 let's press one more time okay so now I'm gonna go to channel 27 right so let's see uh, was it 29 or 27 let me see here 0 29 yep channel 29 right there see that channel 29 you you can get to it fast by pressing you know on the keypad 0 29 and the same thing you use the keypad for a, a function or menu settings it's the easiest thing to do. I just programmed the repeater. I programmed the transmit power. I programmed the uh, the shift, uh, the PL tone, and uh, the frequency, and I saved it in memory. It's real, real easy. Okay, so now we're going to transmit, make sure it works. Right? Okay, so let me just do this. I'm going to... Okay, so here we go. We're going to transmit, make sure it works. Here we go. <clears throat> you heard you heard the feedback on the other one, so I'm gonna turn it down. <clears throat> okay, again. Anyone see why testing? Okay, perfect. It's working great. So that's how you program a memory channel in there. Very, very easy, you guys. Very easy. Uh, again, you're gonna write down those steps down. Uh, number four, your transmit power. Number 16 is the PL. Okay, number 23 is the shift uh, 600, uh, 500, uh, whatever the shift is. And number 24 is your shift direction, up or down, plus or minus. And then uh, number 27 is the memory so again very very easy to program so we're gonna go ahead and program another channel here so we're gonna go back to VFO press the VFO here okay and I'm gonna program press one more time because you can put a memory channel too I'm gonna program 147645 so I go I use the keypad here one four seven six four five sorry about the uh, the camera is trying to focus maybe not yeah I didn't okay let's, let's go try it one more time I gave it too much time one four seven six four five so here we go one four seven six four five now this is a I believe it's a minus offset let me double check
Yes, it is. It's a minus offset. <clears throat> okay. And so we go to press function here. Okay, now the transmit power is low. I want to keep it low, right? Uh, unless if I want to change it. So I don't have to go to number 4. I go to number 16, which is the PL. Okay. Sorry, I pushed the wrong thing here. Okay. 16. The PL. Right there. So we press the orange button again. And in this case, the PL is 100. So we're going to go to 100 PL. I can actually use the keypad and type 100 and it will take me there. Okay, so now you get the PL100 and you, all you got to do is press the function button again to save it. Right? Okay, so now we're going to go to number 23. I don't even have to go there because I know it's uh, on VHF. The shift is 600 so I go directly to number 24. Okay, now that's shift direction. And I want a minus shift now in this case. So what I do is I press on the orange button again and we got a plus sign in here. So I want to rotate off of for simplex, right? Okay, here's minus. And so I save it, right? Here we go. We save it. Okay. Now I want to save this in memory. So I go to number 27. So I can punch in 27 here if I want to. Here's 27. So memory channel, okay, and I press the function again. Okay, it's on number A, 28. Number 29 was just programmed. Number 30 is occupied. All these are occupied. I gotta wait for a blue. Here's a blue one right here. Do I say do I want to save it here? Well, let me go up a couple more. I want to save it at 40, channel 40, okay? So I, all I got to do to save it in this memory channel is I press on the orange button again. There we go. Now it's saved. And then you exit. So when you press exit, it's all saved. And uh, let's go ahead and activate the memory. This, this is VFO still, right? So you want to go to memory, make sure you saved it. Channel 28. Let's go to channel... 40 right okay so we go to channel 40 okay and all I gotta do is I press uh, VFO MR one more time to show the actual frequency here we go 147 and it's uh, channel 040 see that right there 040 we're in memory right now okay let's see if it's gonna activate All right, I must have done something wrong, or maybe we're out of range of the repeater. Let me do this here. There's a repeater up in Big Bear. One four seven six four five. Okay. It looks like I'm not activating from here. Maybe I I don't have enough power or something, but it is a minus. Let me check the PL one more time. Oh, it's 103.5. It's my bad. So I put the wrong PL in there. Okay, so we can fix this, right? Because what we got to do is we got to go to VFO. Well, actually, I don't have to go to VFO. Um, I can override the memory channel. So I got to do is press on function again. Okay. We go to number 16. Okay, we press function one more time. PL is 100. I want to make it 103.5. Okay, and I save it, and then press exit, and then you want to save it in the, in the memory, right? Um, let's make sure it's going to key up first. Yes, it does. There we go. Perfect.
N1 CY testing. So we get the right PL in there. Now we gotta save it in memory. So you press function, you go to number 27. Yep, 27. Memory channel right there. And then you go in there. And it's number 40, right? And yes, you want to save it again. So to, that's how you override it. Save. Now, so it saved it, right? Okay, we exit. All right, so let's see if it saved it. I'm going to go off this memory channel and go back to it. And let's see if it saved it. So now we got the right PL in there. Yep, perfect. It's in there. Everyone see why testing? Uh, everyone see why testing? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you, so you guys, you see how easy it is to program a memory channel and to overwrite a memory channel. Very, very easy with that radio. So again, thank you for paying attention, listening, and have fun with that radio. And remember those uh, channel, uh, remember those uh, f uh, function menu numbers. Uh, you know, uh, you're gonna use them. You're gonna the, you're gonna use the most number 16 and number uh, 24 and and number 27. Those are the ones you're gonna use the most. Uh, 16, 24, and 27. Number four is for the transmit power. 16 is for the PL. Uh, 23 is for the shift uh, value and uh, 24 is for the shift direction and 27 is to save the memory in channel and a channel number to, to save the the the, uh, the frequency in a channel number anyway it must be the altitude um, it's getting to me here so I do apologize anyway take care and 73s from November 1 Charlie Yankee have fun bye bye